here. I was going to put that four bolt in in that last video, but the scene I had a little trouble with my duck belt and my stake driver. I had literally bent that stake driver down and the duck belt didn't want to stay in there. That's even broken. Like I said, we're in Minnesota, so we're dealing with a lot of frost. I'm kind of by a culvert there, so I do have a lot of riffraff rocking here, so that might have been it too. But second case scenario, I'm just going to throw a set in here of a snare. And that's basically simple. We make these extensions ourselves with just a quick link on it. I got it wrapped around low on the base of that tree. So if he does decide to chew the tree up, he'll be higher than what the snare set will be. So I start with just a normal stick. I run my snare on it. I bend this wire around it one time. Some people prefer the W. Some do the piggy, pig tail is what I call it, the swirly tail. And I prefer the swirly tail myself. So I make sure I get that on nice and tight to the stick. Doesn't have to be super tight, just hand tight. I usually crank her a few times. Just to get her snug. But you kind of want it loose enough where you can still work with the snare to pull it in and out. See, like, now I got it a little tight, but I can work with that. So I'll just pull some of that snare out. And I want it to sit right about here. So now all I basically do is I take this slack wire that you left yourself. I usually leave six to eight inches depending on how long I want to make it. And then you just start by simply wrapping it around the snare like a pigtail. Just around and around. And that's my guide wire. Some of these do have these nice guide wire sets. I don't prefer to use those. I'm not a fan of them. I'd rather just do it this way. That way you know you can bend it, move it, whatever way you want to move it to. And I get that pulled out. To exactly where I want it. This stick you don't have to worry about because you're not talking to it. It's just basically the memory for your snare. So then you can just bend that anywhere, like I said. And I usually just set it so it's just in the water, just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll actually take some guide sticks and I'll pretty much just guide them down into this area. Kind of like so, so he doesn't have a whole lot of option. And then I'll actually grab a few rocks here. And just kind of put right here. I might rub up the leaves a little bit. Get the tools out of the way this way. I'll pull some of these leaves up and just set them in like this. That'll kind of guide them a little bit. And then I'll probably place a rock or something right here. So then when he comes up for the bait that I'm going to set up here, and he can be, I'm being stingy with my bait because I got one piece left and I still got one more hook to go through today. I should have brought more popple, that's my screw up, so I'm going to have to self bring more popple tomorrow. And I just usually rough it up a little bit, blaze it, and then I will actually just drive that into the ground right here so it stands up. Just like that, and I'll leave these peels here. So now if you snare, I usually, like I said, lay it right in the water there. You only want it about an inch into the water, so when he comes into it, his legs are gonna be tucked up. Now when he hits that with his chin, he'll drop his legs and that'll pull the snare tight on him. So I'll grab a rock here. I've been a fan of the snares lately. We caught quite a few snares, baited sets underneath the ice this year. And that seemed to be our most productive set. The conibear baits, we didn't catch as many. We actually didn't catch any on the conibear baited snips. Snares were the way to go for us. So I'll just drive a rock in here like this. Just kind of make a wall so it can't go anywhere. Other than where you want it to. Grab another rock or two here. Basically, place them like that, fence them up. He isn't going to come over that rock, he'll come up through that water there and try to check out that bit. So, that's all there is to a snare. 